Hello to everyone watching at the Knesset. We stand with you. We pray for you. We pray for Israel. We fast for Israel. We pray for victory. We want you to know we stand with you all in spirit. And I look forward to the first opportunity to come back and encourage the people of all of Israel. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, we're praying for you in particularly as you lead Israel through this difficult situation with wisdom. And may God continue to protect you and your family. And we pray with you and stand with you all in Israel. Let us pray. Dear God, we come before you and we thank you so much for your love, for your faithfulness, and for your goodness. We thank you, Lord, that indeed you curse those who curse Israel, and indeed you bless those who bless Israel. You are the God of Israel. We pray, God, that you would encourage your people, comfort those who are in mourning and grieving within the losses of loved ones, unspeakable trauma. We pray, God, for Israel to be at peace in their soul and give them strength in their hand as you continue to do your will. We pray that evil would stop and we pray, God, that you would uphold the people of Jerusalem and Israel. And we pray for the entire government in this time of difficulty. Lord, may we be very careful to only look to you for hope and for strength, for wisdom, one day at a time. Only you, God, will uphold your people. And we pray for this, and we thank you for this. In your name we pray. Amen. Good morning. I am Simone Pillon, a former senator of the Italian Republic, and I am, I believe, a good friend of Israel, and I am very honored to be here to send this prayer. Last uh, June, I was in the Knesset and uh, we prayed together uh, with uh, our friends uh, Albert uh, and Eli and the others friends uh, of the Jerusalem Prayer Breakfast. And uh, I am so sad today to hear the news coming from Israel. I am very, very, very concerned about what is happening and not only in Israel also in Europe and in Western world there are a lot of rallies against Israel there are a lot of uh, uh, situation very very dangerous uh, for example here in Italy three days ago a rabbi who was walking uh, in the street uh, has been attacked and injured uh, by uh, uh, by people by one person uh, only because uh, he was wearing his uh, kippah and uh, so if uh, wear a kippah can allow people to think that they are you know uh, they are uh, allowed to to attack uh, a person uh, i believe we, we we must all wear a kippah and because we are all Jewish, I am a Christian Catholic, but if wearing a kippah could be dangerous, we, we, we are all Jewish. So I want to pray seriously with you, uh, our Lord, uh, because we really want peace for Israel. We, we really want peace for that beautiful land for that beautiful for your beautiful people uh, and so let 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 me pray with you our lord almighty lord please send your angels to israel send your angels to to that land and save and give peace to to, to, to this people, this beloved people you love. Please uh, 
our Lord, send your blessing, send your sweet love to these people and in particular to the person who suff are suffering because uh, they, they are, have in, in their families uh, people kidnapped or injured or killed by terrorists. Please, our Lord, save your people and uh, send your blessing also to the family who are waiting the, 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 the freedom of their relati relatives uh, who are in the hands of a mass. And please, our Lord, Almighty Lord, touch the hearts of the terrorists every single one touch their hearts and uh, put uh, your almighty love in their hearts so they can change mind they can seek peace they can find uh, new ways of peace for uh, the land of israel so we we will stand with your people. We want to, 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 to share with all the world that uh, we will stand and we will stay with your people forever. So we ask you for your almighty love. Amen. Hello, this is Gordon Robertson, and I want to pray for the people of Israel. Our Father, we lift up the land of Israel and the city of Jerusalem, the place you chose, the city of peace. In today's conflict, we recall the words of Psalm 120, I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. Adonai, grant wisdom and discernment to the leaders of Israel, and may they pursue a lasting peace. Surround the nation with protection and shield them from all attacks. May all who incite terrorism be no more, and may the hearts of people be inclined towards reconciliation. May the children of Isaac and the children of Ishmael come together in peace and recognize that they are all children of Abraham. Let your peace, which surpasses all understanding, reign in Israel. May the land of Israel be a light to the nations, a light of your mercy and your grace. Amen and amen. Hello, I'm Senator Dana Prieto from the great state of Oklahoma, and I'm joined by my wife, Judy Prieto, as well as the associate pastors of Millennial Church in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Mark Murphy and Cynthia Murphy. And we'd like to pray to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob for Israel today. And according to Psalm 122, six through seven, we pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper, who love the holy city. May peace be within your walls and prosperity within your palaces. History shows us that every generation has an assignment. To go to war now is the call of the hour for the young men and women of your nation. You have sent the crown jewels to the front lines and they have committed all. The soldiers who fell in battle, their lives were not stolen, they gave their lives for God, for country, and for you. Deuteronomy 31, 6 says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Psalm 23, 4 says, Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Isaiah 41.10, do not fear for I am with you and do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. 
So right now, we just lift up the great nation of Israel. We speak protection over its borders right now. I thank you, Lord, for the wonderful soldiers right now, the first responders right now. We, we just put a hedge of protection around them. I speak wisdom into the government right now, that they're led, directed, uh, pinpoint accuracy. I thank you, Lord, that, that we will see the victory, the victory, the victory uh, over its enemies, that, that all Israel's enemies shall be scattered and no weapon formed against Israel shall prosper. And so we lift up the great nation of Israel right now. We lift up the great soldiers, those who are defending the nation, and we speak strength to you, that we are with you, that we're praying for you, and you are being led and directed by God. Shalom. My name is Jason Rapert, and I am president of the National Association of Christian Lawmakers in the United States of America. And I'm happy today to say a prayer for the Knesset and for all of Israel and the Jewish people. I want you to know that we have been in constant prayer for the protection of the people of Israel, and we support you completely and fully to make sure that you can protect the sovereignty of the state of Israel and the Jewish people everywhere. So today, I want you to know on behalf of the National Association of Christian Lawmakers that we are with you and we shall continue to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Father, I come to you today and pray, Father, that you would continue to keep your hand upon the people of Israel. And Father, that you would send angels to minister within their ranks to protect those that are on the front lines. Father, may they be successful in rescuing all those who are, have been held hostage. And Father, may they be completely victorious as they stand up for their national sovereignty and to protect the people of their nation. Father, we pray for all of the families in Israel. We pray for every single person that has been affected. We pray especially for those that have lost their family members. May their memory be a blessing unto you. Now, Father, now I pray for my fellow leaders. I pray for the members of the Knesset and Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Father, give them wisdom, give them knowledge, and give them courage. And I pray also that the United States of America, that we would continue to stand with Israel and against anti-Semitism wherever it is. Father, give our leaders wisdom as they make decisions that will support and honor the relationship that we have with Israel. Now, Father, we ask all of these things in your precious name. Amen. Dear friends in Israel, in this very dark moment of your history, on behalf of Estonian people, on behalf of Estonian parliament, I want to assure you that we stand with you. We support your fight for your freedom. We support your fight against terrorism. We support your right to defend your country, to be sovereign and independent. We defend your right for the existence. In this very moment, we pray together with you for the freedom of hostages, that the hostages would be released as soon as possible. We pray with you that the fightings would be over as soon as possible. And once again, I want to assure you that Estonia stands together with Israel in this fight between good and evil, in this fight between darkness and light. Estonia stands with Israel. God bless you. Good day. My name is Steve Swart, whip in the South African Parliament representing the African Christian Democratic Party. I bring you warm greetings from the millions of South Africans who love and support Israel and the Jewish people. Our hearts go out to all the families of innocent civilians who have died in both Israel and Gaza particularly those who were savagely butchered and massacred by Hamas on the 7th of October. No country would allow these unspeakable atrocities to go unanswered. Every country would do everything in its power to defend itself and its citizens and to ensure that its hostages are safely returned. 
It is tragic that these atrocities are so quickly forgotten by those who now condemn Israel for its response. And while the loss of innocent lives in Gaza is tragic, the South African government seems irrationally obsessed with Israel over virtually any other domestic, continental or international matter. In an unprecedented step, the South African Parliament recently voted in support of a motion to break off diplomatic ties with Israel. This is absolutely disgraceful. Whilst this motion is still to be implemented by the South African government, we wish to make it very clear that there are millions of South Africans who do not support this short-sighted step, and more than 90 parliamentarians voted against the motion in the South African Parliament. We in South Africa would like to send a message of love and comfort to Israel and the Jewish people. Comfort, yes, comfort my people, says Hashem. This we do, not only by expressing words of love and comfort, but standing shoulder to shoulder with Israel and the Jewish people. Please remember, you are not alone. There are hundreds of millions of Christians who stand with you here in South Africa and across the world. As Ruth said to Naomi, for wherever you go, I will go. Your people will be my people, and your God, my God. To conclude, we pray for the peace of Jerusalem, in the sure knowledge that he who watches over Israel neither slumbers nor sleeps. We pray for the protection of the IDF and all innocent civilians, and for the safe return of all hostages. We pray for the plans that those who seek destruction in Israel and the Jewish people will come to nothing. You yourself, Lord, promise that you will contend with those who contend against us, and that you will save our children. So let it be for Israel and the Jewish people. I'm Yisrael Chai. God bless and thank you. Shalom to all our friends in Israel, to the Knesset, to the IDF, and to all other friends over there. I want to give two scriptures and then I'm going to pray for you. In uh, 1 Chronicles 12.32, it says, And the children of Issachar, which were of the men that had understanding of the times, to know what Israel ought to do. The next verse is in Genesis 31, verse 42. Except the God of my father, the God of Abraham, and the fear of Isaac had been with me. Surely you had sent me away now empty-handed. God has seen my affliction and the labor of my hands, and has rebuked thee yesternight. I want to pray for you now, Father. I pray for our friends in Israel, for the Knesset, for the, for the IDF, and for all the people in decision-making positions. I pray that, like the children of Issachar, that they would have the wisdom of God to know in these times, what they need to do to protect and to strengthen their nation. And I pray also, Father, like the other verse mentioned, that the fear of Isaac and the God of Abraham, that the fear of God would prevail over the fear of the opinions of other nations, of other men. That the leadership would not be motivated by the fear of nations and their opinions or trying to appease them, but they're motivated by the fear of Isaac, by the fear of God. I pray, Father, that you would give them wisdom and boldness to act at this time what needs to be done both for the nation, for the people, and for the fulfillment of your word, the biblical word of God. I thank you for that. I pray in the name of Yeshua. Amen. I'm honored to take this opportunity to participate virtually at this day of prayer for Israel on behalf of the government and the people of the Kingdom of Tonga and to send this message accompanied by a prayer in support of Israel based on the book of the prophet Joel in the Holy Bible. Dear brothers and sisters in Israel, we wish to encourage you during this crit critical time when your security and your faith in the Almighty God are greatly challenged, but we would like to remind of the promises of God to you through prophet Joel, which says, the Lord is jealous for his land and pity his people. The Lord will answer and say unto his people of Israel, I will remove far off from you the northern army and will drive him into a land barren and desolate with his face towards the east sea. Fear not, O land, be glad and rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. As you have been calling on the name of the Lord, you will be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance. O Lord God Almighty, the God of the universe, the God of Israel, and the people who have made a covenant with you, we honor you, Lord, as we seek thy favor upon Israel. As you have promised, we pray that your Holy Spirit may be poured out upon the people of Israel so they may demonstrate greater wisdom, power, and strength. 
We pray that the whole world may know that you, Almighty God, is the source of Israel's security. Let your Holy Spirit strengthen their faith and procure eternity with you in the end. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, creator of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot stumble. He who preserves you doesn't fall asleep. He who preserves Israel doesn't fall asleep. He doesn't sleep. We want to stand with our friends in Israel at this difficult time. I will pray for Israel in my own language. Kære himmelske fæger, vi bier for i støven i Israel, at du skal komme ved tynne frie og tynne løsning inn i disse støvene. Vi bier for dem som ønsker løye, at du må svære til å trøst og hjelp. Vi bier for alle gudslån og tar av hverandre, at du skal føre deg sammen etter i alle gavene. Vi bier for dem styrende, at du må stjøve dem en vysdøm til å tekke deg rette avgjørende og gi seg tro på tøy. Samme er noen av alle om å holde fast ved et år og til en løfte. Vi ber om frelsen over oss elsker folket. Da ber vi om å gi oss navnet. Amen. God bless Israel. My name is Jim Garlow. And I'm Rosemary Schindler Garlow. And we pray for Israel. Father, we come to you on behalf of Israel, the pain, the suffering, the oppression, from outside forces that have plagued this nation for so long. We pray for the Jewish people to, to have the freedom, the freedom to exist in their own land, the freedom to bring other Jews back to congregate in their land, the right to defend themselves. Lord, we pray for supernatural protection around them. They have suffered for so long, so much at the hands of so many. We even repent as those who called themselves Christians used to persecute the yes. Jews. And Lord, we come against replacement theology, the arrogance of it that would say that we, the church, replace your people, the Jewish people. We repent of anti-Semitism that may crop up in any form, and we come against it in the name of Jesus. Lord, and we've seen your faithfulness. Each time Israel's been attacked with a war, you have given her the victory, and you have produced a nation uh, that is um, of people who have returned to you from the four corners of the earth. Father, you have restored Jerusalem into Jewish hands. You have given the heartland Jer Judea, Samaria, the Golan Heights to your people. And at this season, Father, you are about to do another miraculous intervention. We thank you, Father, that we can cry out to you and that your covenant stands forever for the people in the nation of Israel. Give them strength and hope at this time that you are there, that you will never leave them, that you will never forsake them. We thank you, Lord, that you'll stir the hearts of the nations, that you'll raise up a remnant, that we in the nations will see that this is the deci deciding factor of those who stand with you, Lord God, and those who oppose you. Father, may the remnant come forth and may you prepare a people to stand with your nation, the Jewish people, in a way that the world has never seen in Yeshua's name. As the Proverbs since the Bible say, a friend always loves a friend and feels him as a brother in times of trouble. Hello, friends in Israel. We stand with you here in Latvia. I'm Janis Gresbergs, Member of Parliament of Latvia. I am also a member in Interparliamental Friendship Group with Israel. Today, here in Independence Square, at the Freedom Monument, representatives of Christians from all churches at different denominations have gathered to pray for you, for Israel. I would like to wish for you the same as the Apostle Paul of the Corinthian Church. Be on guard, stand firm in your faith, act like men and be courageous. Be strong. Let everything you do be done in love. I send you good wishes from Latvia and pray God to protect and abundantly 
bless your land where milk and honey flow. We stand with you in this critical moment of Israel's history. God bless you. Well, hello and shalom from me, Michael Ferguson, Deputy Premier here in the Parliament of Tasmania. And shalom, uh, greetings from Tasmania, Guy Barnett, Attorney General in the Parliament of Tasmania. And just in recent weeks, uh, the Parliament of Tasmania has passed a motion uh, of support uh, for the Israeli people to condemn the Hamas heinous acts of terrorism and murder against uh, women and children and uh, to endorse the support of uh, Israel's right to existence and of course to condemn all forms of uh, hate speech and violence and to support uh, a fast recovery at this very, very difficult time. Yeah, Guy, thanks for that. We really are standing with the people of Israel who have been horribly assaulted and victimised during that terrible criminal and terrorist assault in October. Our parliament has been standing with you. The Australian parliament has been standing with you. Um, and we've been remembering all of the people in our prayers, the people of Israel, and of course the innocent civilians also in the Palestine area. Uh, we have a prayer we want to share, and it's our prayer that the words in Psalm 91 uh, will be real, not just a comfort, but a real protection from God. So we're praying, whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. That's our prayer. We can trust it to God for the protection and safety of Israel, its people, and all who love peace and freedom. I fear bound war bush that's Bound wars fox would like fjall. Hatikwa, the hope. Vaunen, song in my native tongue, Faroese. Translated by a fellow Christian brother who passed away some years ago. As with much of the Western world, the Faroe Islands, a tiny group of islands situated in the middle of the North Atlantic Ocean, has a strong Judeo-Christian heritage. And thinking about my life, it is an understatement to say that the Jewish religion, history and culture has had a huge impact and has shaped me to the innermost core of my soul and spirit, first and foremost through the Holy Scriptures. The Old Testament with its Jewish history, Jewish poetry and prophecy. The New Testament with the Gospels set in the Holy Land and the Acts and the Epistles rooted in the Holy Land and bearing fruit to the ends of the earth. The whole of the Bible with its answers on life's deepest questions and with Yeshua, Jesus, the Son of God, the Son of Man, my Savior, our model and example as the center of everything. Only in Him we find true peace and salvation. He of whom Paul the Apostle said in his letter to the Romans, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. And as Paul said to the Galatians, there is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free, there is neither male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. I'm sitting in my home church speaking to you. As with most free churches here, it bears a biblical name, uh, an old Hebrew name, Hebron. The word Hebron has a range of meanings from unite to colleague to friend 
And in the proper name Hebron, the original sense may have been alliance. And dear everyone listening, friends and colleagues, brothers and sisters in Christ, I feel a strong alliance with you. I feel a strong alliance with Israel and with all who suffer and grieve deeply. My prayers and thoughts are with you all in this dark hour. And I sing and pray with the great King and Psalmist David in Psalm 23. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And I also pray with David in Psalm 122, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. Peace be within your walls. And I will close and leave you with the blessing of Aaron found in Numbers chapter six. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Amen. Shalom, dear Christian brothers and sisters in Israel and uh, wherever in the world you are listening, receive the warmest greetings here from the Faroe Islands in the name of our Savior, Jesus. My father, Daniel, was 95 years old when he died two years ago. From the time we were little children, our parents uh, have taught and told us about God's promised land, Israel, about Israel's history, about God's great love for Israel, and about God's promise to all who love his chosen people. My parents uh, had their knowledge from God's word, the Holy Bible, which they also taught us to love. Today, today I am the father of three sons and the grandfather of uh, seven children. We follow in the footsteps of our parents and we support God's chosen people from the bottom of our heart. We love Israel, where our Savior and Redeemer Jesus Christ was born and where he died for us on Mount Calvary. His personal victory on the cross has brought salvation and miraculous healing to my wife, our middle son, and our youngest grandchild, hallelujah. This makes us love, our love for Israel even greater. It is with uh, unspeakable sorrow that we hear of the suffering that God's choose, chosen people are going through today. Together with a large part of the Pharaoh's people, we pray to our heavenly father that he who loves each one of the children of Israel, will visit them in their suffering and sorrow. Be it at home in Israel, as hostages in Gaza, or around the world where many live today. God bless Israel. God bless his chosen people. We in the Faroe Islands will continue to pray to our Heavenly Father and ask him to create peace in Israel. Our dear Father in heaven, we feel powerless in these evil times, but we know and we trust in you and your promises, for nothing is impossible for you. We ex we ask you, extend your helping hand to your chosen people who are in need in Israel, in Gaza, and all over the world. Your promises call upon me in the day of trouble. I will 
deliver, deliver you and you will honor me. We put our trust in you, dear Jesus. Visit each one of your needy children personally. Comfort them and lead them to freedom. We pray in the name of our risen Savior, Jesus. God bless you all. Shalom from Helsinki. On behalf of the Israel Friendship Group and the Finnish Parliament, I would like to greet all my friends who are participating in the Jerusalem Prayer Breakfast. The State of Israel and our Jewish friends have for many decades been suffering greatly due to the hateful attitude of the neighboring countries. But the cruel massacre that took place on the 7th of October is one of the worst and inhuman attacks in the entire world history against the Jewish people and also the other civilians that, who were in Israel on that day. I want to express the condolences of the Finnish parliament while at the same time we ask that all the hostages to be released. We also hope and pray that Israel and the citizens will experience peace and justice as quickly as possible. At this moment, we pray for the Israeli families who mourn for the loved ones who were killed or taken hostage. And we also ask God to protect innocent people during this bad and ter uh, ter terrible conflict. Dear Lord, our Holy Father, we pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May those who love you be secure. May there be peace within your walls and security within your citadels. For the sake of our brothers and sisters and friends, I will say, peace be within you. Am Israel Chai. Greetings, this is Sam Redfern with the Montana Veterans Association. I want to thank Governor Greg Giaforte and the Lieutenant Governor for speaking today uh, with the veterans and for standing strong with Israel. Um, all of our veterans in Montana care about the situation over there, and we want you to know, our friends, on the National Day of Prayer in Israel, that we are with you. Our prayers, our thoughts, our condolences, we pray for peace, and we pray for strength for the IDF. And we're praying for Israel and, and our allies overseas. Dear friends, my name is Hjellingol Fropstad. I'm a member of the Norwegian Parliament. I would like to express my deepest condolences for the huge loss on October 7th and the shocking ter terrorist attack against you. And I would like to pray for wisdom, for the leaders, for IDF, for the people who are suffering on both sides and for the people who miss one of the people they love in their family or friends. And I pray for wisdom and difficult solutions and that God's will will happen in Jesus' name.